I remember laying on my table, going into theater there, and he said, this just gave me some drugs to pass me out. And he was there standing, giving me best of luck. So I go into the surgery and I tell my doctor, look, I am a Muay Thai fighter. Beware of that. It's like, yeah, but the anesthetist will have been knocked out. I was like, really? I was conscious for longer than what they expected me to be for this, um, whatever drugs they gave me to knock me out. So eventually I get knocked out and the surgery happens. I wake up the next day or whenever the surgery was over, feeling so bad, in pain. I had stitches in my skull trying to hold everything together again. I had this big cut on the right hand side of my skull. It literally felt like they chopped my skull open to take out the tumor that was on the other side, which never made sense. I mean, if the tumor is on the left, we don't even want to cut on the left hand side. Why do you have to cut on the right hand side? But hey, that happened. And then my surgeon tells me, I almost knocked him out while he was operating. And I'm like, but I told you, I might knock you out. I'm a Muay Thai fighter. If you're going to try to hurt me, I'm going to protect myself. He wasn't impressed. And then told me, you know, he couldn't remove the entire tumor. He got about 90% out of it. So, okay. So what does that mean? I wasted my money on surgery now for something you couldn't do. I mean, wasn't that the point of me going for surgery for you to take out the tumor? And now you're telling me you can't get the entire tumor out, so what's the deal? And this is, you couldn't give an answer, but what they are doing is sending the tumor away for testing. Okay? So what does it mean? They have to wait for results. So when does the results come back? He couldn't say exactly when he'd be back, but I had to spend time in hospital. And I stayed in hospital, but at the same time, I had a lot of friends visiting me. I had friends visiting me from other states. I had people from different parts of the world sending me good luck messages. It was amazing, the support I had, just from friends I've made across the world and just my close friends. That was the best for me. So my results come back and they classified as a low grade two tumor. Okay, so what does that mean? I'm a patient. How am I supposed to know what all these things are? I'm gonna ask you questions. And this says, Mr. Investor, it means that if I leave it, or well, the remainder of the tumor is left in your brain, for another two months, it's going to transform to cancer. So what does that mean then? Well, we're going to have to get rid of it. So then let's open my brain up again and get it taken out. And because I had the surgery, he's not able to cut again. So that will cause complications. Then what next? He then has to ask an oncologist to come see me and speak to me. And then he gets an oncologist, Dr. Louis Cathan, amazing oncologist. Just from the stories I've heard from different people about the oncologist, he's been amazing. And he tells me, you know, this chemotherapy I'm gone. And I'm like, chemo? So you want to put poison into my body to kill something? I've had people in my life, especially my one friend's sister, passed away from chemotherapy and another friend of mine's. You know, there's so many people in my life that has suffered from cancer and passed away, not from cancer itself, but because of the treatment which was chemotherapy. And I told him, look, at the end of the day, I have to sign the paper. So you are not gonna just put me on whatever you want to. He then says, a week later, I've got another option for you. The medical aid that you are on your medical insurance authorized radiotherapy. So I'm like, okay, yeah, let's do it. I'm excited. I mean, Spider-Man had radiation, a spider bit him, and that's how he became Spider-Man. A spider, a spider could bite me too, and I could be a superhero. It never happened. I'm still here, but a lot of people are telling me I am a superhero.